What is special about the Upstate program? So, everything is special about the Upstate program. Respiratory therapists provide uh, care and education for patients that have any kind of disease which affects the cardiopulmonary system, the heart and lungs. That can be from a newborn baby who is born prematurely and can't quite breathe on their own adequately to an elderly person who develops some kind of chronic heart or lung disease and anyone in between. So we take care of patients in the emergency room, in the intensive care unit, trauma patients, patients with chronic diseases like asthma, um, all kinds of patients, anything that uh, affects the uh, the cardiopulmonary system and we we do treatment for them we teach them we do diagnostic tests on them we follow them at home uh, etc so we uh, we take care of all aspects of those kinds of patients you'll find us working in like the ER you'll find us in ICUs you'll find us in doctor's offices you'll find us in pulmonary rehab labs you'll find us in sleep labs we we do a lot of things we do anything from giving breathing treatments to drawing arterial blood gases. Uh, we deep suction, we run ventilators, we hook patients up on ventilators, we are trained to intubate, we're trained to extubate. It's a great field to be in, there's a lot of job opportunities. Um, it's one of the fastest growing professions, um, ranked very high on uh, jobs you might wanna have by places like US News and World Report. It's a great, um, it's a great field to be in. We focus on cardiopulmonary and that is what we do. So we're able to focus more on one thing, you know, stop, take a look at just that. Compared to other programs, we've been around for 50 years. Uh, one of the oldest programs, we're one of the oldest baccalaureate programs, uh, and we are a baccalaureate program, which is special. Many programs do not offer a bachelor's degree. Some hospitals actually right now will not hire associate degree um, respiratory therapists. They will hire specifically bachelor degree respiratory therapists. Um, but even hospitals that do hire associate degree respiratory therapists, they will look at the bachelor degree ones first because they have that higher level of training, higher education. Our professional goal as uh, set up by our professional society is that we will have at least 80% of our therapists will have baccalaureate degrees by 2020. So it's really becoming necessary to have a bachelor's degree to be competitive. Um, starting out with a bachelor's degree means you're already ahead of the game, you don't have to go back and get one. My class, we did over a thousand hours of clinicals, so I believe it was actually 1,034 hours, which is, I learned from a few of my coworkers that it's actually a lot more than they did at associate degree programs, which makes sense, it's a higher level of learning. Um, as far as Upstate's concerned, we're a medical university, so we have the advantage of having our own hospital, uh, a medical school, other college of health professions, so we can do a lot of interprofessional activities here. Our graduates come out and they do extremely well when they graduate. So right now, I actually work right over at Upstate. Um, we, we have a lot of ICUs. We have a uh, cardiac ICU, we have medical ICU, surgical ICU, we have neuro ICU. We have um, pediatric ICU. We've got step down floors and we've got like regular medical floors. There's a lot going on at Upstate. Well, I think uh, the two things I think that are really strong. One is that we're small. Um, we have a very tight relationship between the faculty and the students. We're, uh, we spend a lot of time with each other. We get to know each other really well. We're very supportive of our students and uh, we give them everything we can give them to help them be successful. So we were all very close. We took all the same classes. We did everything together. We did all of our studying together. It was a lot easier to find somebody to go to for help with studying, for help learning things. So if I didn't understand something, I easily had a classmate to go to who maybe understood it and could explain it in a different way. Um, and the other part I think is that we're very focused on making sure that our students get a broad exposure so that we don't focus uh, uh, overly much on one aspect of respiratory care. Um, we try to make sure that in addition to the traditional adult critical care areas, they also uh, have a good uh, exposure to neonatal care and pediatric care and home care and uh, rehabilitation and long-term care so that they really have a good feeling for what the whole profession is about. I like it and if you're considering the Upstate program I would highly recommend it. The teachers are great, the programs great, the clinicals are great, everything about it I enjoyed a lot. I think we uh, have a very uh, long history of developing leaders in our profession. Uh, many uh, people who have 
gone into leadership positions are graduates of this program. Um, so I think Upstate is very special for those reasons.